Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. It's Barry here and today's recipe, oh, just, uh. I warned you about this. It's another one from Hybrid Month. This one is a Smorio Donatella cake. Uh, just so, so bad for you, but so good, so wrong, so right. My mind's telling me no and my body's telling me yes, all that stuff, but it's my birthday today. So I deserve to make this my birthday, okay? It's so, so, so good. I hope I've got that across. A lot of you guys were loving it on social media when I shared it. Hope you're liking the Pugs uh, Not Drugs t-shirt. If you wanna have a go at making this, and one slice is filling, it's enough for two people, okay? That's a warning. So it's great for a party. Hit pause on the video. Now, write down all these ingredients. There's a lot of them, a lot of naughty ones. Let's do it. The first thing you can do is make the base uh, for the cake, and that's just simply by whizzing up some Oreo biscuits with some melted butter to make kind of like a cheesecakey biscuit base. And I simply melted some chocolate up, giant food style, and spread that all on there so that when it firms up, it will hold it in place a little bit. That is our base ready. Let's put some cool stuff on it. I added some mini donuts onto the base. Uh, I actually used some mini ring donuts in the end. I went to nearly every supermarket uh, in my area and also rang up Krispy Kreme as well. Can I get some little donut balls, donut holes? Awkward conversation, I had a few times, but none of them had them. So these little rings will do all nice and spread around with some bashed up meringue pieces sprinkled all over and then the Nutella on top of that. Now that on its own would be an awesome little cake, okay? But we're taking it one level higher. We're repeating those steps with some more donuts all arranged on there, some more meringue pieces and some more Nutella. Oh, shiver me timbers. My mind's telling me no. Our Kelly moment right now. But we're going up one more layer, okay? So some more donuts on top, a meringue pieces again, and then also a drizzling of salted caramel instead of the Nutella. Just a little bit of a change there. If you need a salted caramel recipe, let me know. Uh, you've seen me make it loads of times before. That on there, drizzling into Nutella was so, so good. And I wanted to finish it off by frosting it entirely to make the donuts hidden. But then as I added on uh, the marshmallow frosting, which is basically marshmallow mixed with icing sugar, okay? So confectioner's sugar, because if you just spread marshmallow fluff on, it will just drizzle off, okay? So marshmallow with icing sugar works a charm. I got that on there and it was starting to drizzle down like the, uh, the canyons of donuts and I really liked that effect. So I worked that all the way around, finished it with some Oreo cookie crumbles on top and you can eat it straight away if you like, but if you leave it in a fridge for at least two hours, but perfect overnight, oh my gosh, when you take a slice and a wedge out of it, it is just R. Kelly-tastic. <laughs> it kind of turns you into a BG when you eat it. The flavors are incredible and I really recommend that you leave it overnight to set because they all merge together as one. So, so good. This is the third recipe in hybrid month. If you've missed the chorito or the bacon lasagna, go and check that out. Uh, next week for hybrid month, I have a hybrid within a hybrid and it's gonna be awesome. I really hope you're gonna check that one out. Any recipe ideas, let me know down below. And don't forget to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Vine, Tumblr, Pinterest, all that stuff for more things. This is an amazing birthday cake. Give it a go and I'll see you next time.